Welcome to Sandy Flats Kids Art School. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Sandy here and welcome to my Kids Art School. And today we are going to draw a sausage dog or a dash hound or whatever you want to call it. They're kind of cute and I had one as a kid. Here's my mum holding one in the 1980s in a bag in her backyard. Her name was Peppa and it's a bit weird but you know, I loved her. Now, you know, sometimes I talk to kids about drawing and they say to me, but Sandy, I can't draw. I am no good. Why are you trying to teach me? There's no point. Well, I'm here to tell you anyone can draw. So you just give it a go. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake. You can just keep on practicing and you never know what you're going to come up with. Let's have a look at this sausage dog of ours that we're going to draw. What makes a sausage dog a sausage dog is what you need to think. Well, they have two eyes. I like to do cartoon circle googly eyes. They have very, very, very long body. Usually their tails are fairly thin and a little bit curly. They have four legs. Yes, I know, that's amazing. Four legs and they're kind of short. And then if you look at their ears, their ears are pretty big compared to the rest of their body. And that kind of makes them fairly cute. And most sausage dogs, dash hounds, whatever you want to call them again, are pretty happy and have a lovely long tongue. Here's my list of stuff that you need to draw the sausage dog. And it is it's paper, lead pencil, colored pencils or textures. Or you can do it digitally if you're really clever. Okay, I'm gonna start mine on my iPad Pro. So here we go, we're gonna draw the eyes first. Two googly circles right next to each other. And inside I draw a dot for the pupil. Next thing we're gonna do is start the head to start just above one of the eyes. Curl it around and go right down and yeah, about there and stop. Now we're gonna do the nose. It's sort of a wobbly circle, maybe a little bit like a big pebble. Um, I like to draw them kind of a little bit bigger and it kind of makes them look a little bit cuter. Now we're drawing the mouth. Starts right at the bottom, goes up, curls up the top and a little line just to make our dog look extra happy. Now the next thing I'm going to do is draw the ear, one of the ears, starting at the top of one of the eyes, just on that dot there. Go up, around, down and around and touch the end of the nose. Okay, how are you doing? You're doing good? Don't be too hard on yourself. Let's draw the tongue. I'm going to go down, around and back up again. And part of the neck, it's kind of like a little bit of a flat backwards S. Little line in the middle of the tongue. And now we're going to start drawing the other part of the neck and the other ear. So start just above that eye and go up around and underneath. Start at the top of the neck and go around again, touch the end of the ear. You've drawn the head. You have drawn a dog's head. Don't worry if it's not exactly the same. Oh, I've started the leg. The end of the neck go down, up, down again and up. It's like, an, it's like a W. So if you can write, you can draw. Okay, and the back is very, 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 very long. In a cartoon, you kind of exaggerate a bit. And I'm going to start drawing the tail. It's like an up side down C and start at the tip of the tail and we're going to just make it a bit thicker and bring it up around kind of keeping it in line with the other part of the tail. Alrighty let's draw the belly. Belly is also very very long. See I've started there at the end of the other W down the end with the leg. Just drawn a little dot there and we're going to go across. Keep going, keep going, keep going and stop. And we're going to do another weird W for the legs at the back. So, little dot there just to get ready and go down and up and down and up again. And now for the butt or the patushi or to say it nicely, the bottom of the dog. We're nearly done. You've drawn the dog. Let's just add some more details in. So, I am going to draw... Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to colour in. That's what I'm doing there. I'm drawing, I'm pulling down, sorry, another layer. This is what you can do in digital art. And I'm going to make sure that the colouring in 
is done. But first I'll do the collar, a little black line on the neck and a circle, and I've kind of coloured that in. Now I'm going to pick up some different colours. So this is where you bring your coloured pencils in. I'm going to find a coloured pencil on my pencil uh, collection. And I'm going to do the nose first, little black nose. And then I'm going to get a nice sort of browny, caramelly colour. If you don't have that, even just a straight brown would be fine, or even a yellow. And I'm going to colour in the ears. I'll just speed this up a little bit for you because, yeah, you kind of might fall asleep as you watch me colour in. So here goes. So there you go, there's the brown coloured in. Let's colour in the tongue now with a tongue, I mean, tongue. What sort of word is that? Tongue with a little bit of pink or red. And we can also add in a bit of grass if you want to at the bottom, just so your dog doesn't look like it's floating in the sky. I've also added in some eyebrows and I've decided, I think I'll draw a bone there because doggy likes her bone. And doggy's going to say rough. And there you go. We're done. You've drawn your first drun. Oh my goodness, I'm making up words today. There you go, there's a, a new word for you. You can tell your teacher that, drun. I drun my picture. Just don't tell them that it came from me, will you? So you have drawn your first sausage dog. Well done. If you want to, you can keep practicing or you can just go, you know what, I've done my best. I've done a great job and go and show somebody that might be interested. So, thank you so much, guys. If you like this video, remember to press that little subscribe button, S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E, so that you can see more of my videos that will be coming up. Um, and I'm going to have lots of different ideas. And you can write to me on my website, sandyflatart.com, or leave a comment. And let me know if there's anything else that you would really like to be able to draw. And we'll do it together. So, bye. I hope you've had a really fun time. Just remember, you're special, you are unique, God loves you. And see you next time. <laughs>